Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and this is Cleaning Progress and a little bit of Kathy driving me nuts. She calls me up, aren't you paying attention to me? And I said, well, for two days my eyes went crazy, and I was rubbing one of them so hard I thought I opened a hole in my eyelid. It was an agony. So, anyway, I have cleaned this whole area out. Everything on the floor down here. The bed has to be cleaned up. That will be next. And then I'm going to go over here and uh, Kathy is impatient at heart and doesn't understand the concept of I have things to do. And there's a quarter I found. Alright, and then this thing I thoroughly cleaned it. This is a four-drawer organizer. Now, if you went to Walmart and bought this, it'd be about 20 bucks. So, there it is. And then I dug out the extra-large power strip from Fry's. That's going to lean that way. And that will ensure when I get the MacBook power strip back, and you can see how long the cord is for this beast. Let's see. Hmm. This is a very long cord, so I'm going to plug it in over there behind the milk crate. Okay. Here we go, clean the dust off. And this has been sitting on the floor for, boy, there's more dust. Uh, this has been sitting on the floor for a while, a long while. And um, there's Fuzzy sleeping with the slowly the world's biggest collection of cat toys. <laughs> Not yet, but she's getting there. And there are two bags of recyclables to go out. That bucket of recyclables of uh, trash and that box is being saved for when I do laundry that's in the back room. So this is where I've gotten. So I'll hook this power strip up in a minute. And that way, when I do my videos, the, I won't have the charger cables running across the floor anymore. And to be sure I won't pull out the cord. Oh, yeah, and Kathy, I said, call me back. I'm busy. So she went in the bathroom. I couldn't hear her. So I go across the room to pick up all the rest of the stuff off the floor. So the floor is at least empty of debris. She calls me back, of course, when I'm way over across the room by the front door. And then says, why didn't you answer the phone? I said, I can't fly over the sofa bed. I'm busy cleaning. Well, you told me to call you right back. And that's when I start getting ready to pound my head against the wall. <coughs> Excuse me, because it would feel good. All right, I'm getting there. It's just slowly but surely. But that's two boxes of stuff. There's another box back there too. You can see that will go out. So two boxes of stuff that was in bags that is now going out and I'll keep the bags for more paperwork. But it is absolutely roasting in here. It's 82 degrees even with the, all the fans going and the door open. So um, I'll be so glad my charger gets back and uh, I can do proper videos again. And by the way, there are um, 24 days till AlienCon. I feel like it's, I'm announcing 24 days till Christmas and the coming of Santa Claus. So please donate so I can have a hotel room. And uh, Curtis, um, had a problem with this sound program and that's why uh, the show didn't happen on Tuesday. He now says the weekend and Abram called me and said or Abram, I never get this right he says call him Zach so I'll call him Zach and uh, Zach attack <laughs> and he said he cut off of work and he's too tired to come over here and I don't blame him, he works hard it's hot I don't know if they got air conditioning in that place or not. They're paying attention. So he says he'll come over tomorrow. So that's what's going on with me. Still working on cleaning everything on the 
chair there is stuff I put down after I went to the store, and I got to go through that and hang it up. But, and I cleaned off this table a bit. And, uh, you know, this place will get clean. It's just going to take time and, you know, handwork, scrubbing, stuff like that. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great evening. Stay warm, dry, cool, or wet, or all of the above. And I wish I were cool. <laughs> and above all, stay safe out there. And um, <clears throat> I will be probably back later with another video, depending if I haven't melted into a pool of goo by then. After I go out and feed the cats, that's next. After I put this thing over there and then... This thing will put the uh, stack of clothes in there, and then I can put important papers like my birth certificate if I ever find it, and some other papers I'm looking for. All right, get in there, and, you know, this place will get cleaner, because I am, even I go, I've had all I can stand, and I can't stand no more, and then I get up and... My God, I've got to get this place clean. It looks disgusting, and I uh, I don't want to hear the haters saying it's disgusting, but uh, when I get disgusted and get up and start going, I don't go, I don't finish until I drop, until I my body says, you can't do this anymore, back, feet, knees, hands. So I've been doing this since about 3 o'clock, and my I, I, I looked up something. I may have rheumatism in this hand. I don't know. But it, there was a thing about joints aching, and these definitely ache. And I still haven't had time to go to the hospital. So uh, that's, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll see about doing that on Friday, Friday, and uh, I'll be done. So, oof. Anyhow, have a great evening, people, and I uh, will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Um, which way would be bye-bye? I guess this way. <laughs> Bye. This is George. Send another guy from Pittsburgh.